Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then hello. Today's video is going to be a big Zara haul with quite a few pieces and a couple of pairs of shoes. And I also had so much in this order and like general little Zara shops that I've been doing recently that I've actually created a second video, which is gonna be going live in probably about one or two weeks time. So that's gonna be coming later. There's exactly the same amount of items in each. And I've tried to separate the good stuff between both because I think then you've got something to come back for, you know? So on the rail, we've got quite a few pieces as you can see there's like quite a neutral tone here I'm not really one for like bright colors or anything I tend to wear quite a lot of neutrals and like muted pieces so that's what I've obviously gone for and to be honest the collections in Zara at the moment are so good there's so many amazing pieces there there's so many great spring summer bits that I genuinely am obsessed with and just feel like everyone needs in their wardrobe like their basics at the moment perfection so without further ado we're going to jump onto the rail and start talking you through everything i'll try and remember to mention sizes where possible but for the most part i buy a size eight or a small unless i state otherwise um typically i just buy smalls because they are fairly good for me in terms of sizing like i never really have to branch away from that but anyway let's get in and talk through the first item which is way out of my comfort zone and actually something i picked up for coachella however I kind of love it and I want to keep them and I think they would be cute to wear like just generally through the summer. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of love them and I kind of think they're the best thing ever and I'm going to keep them because I think they're going to be a vibe with various outfits. But these are £32 and they are obviously a size 8. They're just high rise jeans with this zebra print. So I don't know if you can see but it's kind of like a faded zebra. On camera it looks really bright but it is very like faded washed zebra and I think the more you wash these the more they'd get faded which I kind of like but these would just look cool with like my chunky docks or something and this t-shirt or like some little Birkenstocks and a white tee or something in summer but like I said I did buy them for Coachella originally and they are now not being on for Coachella but I do really like them and I think printed jeans are just having a bit of a moment this year especially when it comes to the more like muted patterns so you may have seen everywhere there's like the newspaper jeans going round. There's a lot of like subtle floral ones and stuff and they just caught my eye and I really liked them. So I thought I'd get my hands on them and see how I style them. So should we do a styling video for printed jeans? I feel like maybe that's something that's coming in the pipeline because that would be something that just works really well and would make a good video, I think. And also give me some inspiration myself. <laughs> Next up, we have the infamous Zara set, which is sold as separates, but obviously is a set. So you've got the little skirt here, which I'll show you in a second, and the blazer, which is a little cropped number. Again, very, very versatile for spring, summer, autumn kind of time. I think this would be so cute with some like cream high-waisted trousers and like some nice little muted sandals that are kind of like a neutral or like a pastel-y tone and like a nice little simple neutral bag as well, maybe like a basket or something. But very, very cute. And this one was $49.99 for the blazer and definitely something that could be worn in so many different ways. Like this could be worn as separates as well as together. And then the little shorts look like so. Again, as I say, you could wear them together or separate. So these I would definitely wear with a white shirt and like slouchy tuck the white shirt or leave it open with a little crop underneath, some little heels or some nice like, trainers or something in a t-shirt would be really cute. But they're just a little pleated number at the front. So you've got the two little slits here and it looks really cute. In fact, it's not even pleated, but it looks kind of pleated. And then on the back, it's just got the two pockets and looks a little bit more tailored. These ones were $25.99 and again, a size small, but very, very cute and simple. And they're like a nice neutrally pinky color, which I thought was really sweet. And again, just would look really cute with multiple different things. That's kind of the vibe with my wardrobe. I like to get things that could be worn in multiple ways, but also could be worn together. Like I don't think you'd necessarily get away with wearing that to an office because it is obviously a cropped blazer. But I do think it would be very cute for like bottomless brunch or cocktails with your friends or something a little bit more formal that's maybe not like a office situation. So I could probably get away with wearing that to a meeting because they're very informal. Whereas you couldn't really get away with wearing it to like sitting down in the office generally. <laughs> Then we've got this dress, which I actually got in a medium and I want to change the size. So I'm going to be sending it back and getting a small. This one was $22.99 and it's just a nice little maxi dress that's rib. It's got like the little racer back detailing and it's just a very nice, simple, straight up, straight down dress that I thought was good for styling into the summer just with like very simple accessories. Good for holidays, good for just general styling. Like I said, wear it at Birkenstocks or something or you could equally dress it up a little bit if you wanted to. But I like having more slouchy pieces like this that I can wear around the house or just for like simple 
running errand days where I don't want to wear leggings and a sports bra or anything. So I thought that was a good little option and again, not too expensive, nice and simple and there's a few different ways you could style that. Then I bought this little top in store a couple of weeks ago which I thought was really cute. This is 12 99 and this is extra small small and it's part of their seamless collection but I really liked the style of it because obviously it's got the little one shoulder detailing and I'm quite a sucker for wearing vests and like little t-shirts and stuff like this. This is actually Zara as well, this is the crop t-shirt. Um, but I'm quite a sucker for wearing little crop tops like this and I thought I would just get one that was a little bit different but still in keeping to like the basic collection that I've got if that makes sense so yeah 12 99 and just very very simple and cute I haven't tried it on yet to know if it's not see-through or it is but I have a feeling it's going to be ever so slightly nipple showing which means you probably need like nipple covers or something or a strapless bra underneath because obviously you have the one shoulder detailing so you can't really get away with wearing no bra but if you do get one of the bras that has like the takeoff straps, you know the strapless ones that have detachable straps, you could always leave one on and then just take the other one off, which is what I tend to do if I've got a one shoulder detailing because it's just a little bit easier. And it also gives you that extra little bit of like hold up support. <laughs> then there's this top, which is a little bit out of my comfort zone and not something I typically get, but I thought it was really cute. So it's just a little puff sleeve number with these really delicate little daisies all over. So I don't know if you can see, but they've got little like neutral daisies with the little blue centers and at the back it's got this little tie bit which is separated so from the front it's attached but from the back it's like a a gap and it just looks quite cute it's very simple for those jeans and a nice top outfit and would look again really great with some like neutral tailored trousers and some sandals or something i thought of this as more of a holiday piece but also i guess you could get a lot of wear out of it in the uk too which is quite a good thing i like when you have things that you can wear here but also abroad and i have quite a few trips coming up in the next few weeks which i'll leave my travel diaries in the top which tells you where i'm going every month it's like a little series that i do but i'm off to mauritius so that's where a lot of the inspiration for this has come from just picking different bits that i can wear for spring and summer but also wear for my trip to mauritius where it's going to be a lot warmer than here and i want kind of nice breezy airy like cute things that i can just mix and match and get a really good summer wardrobe then we have another two-piece set which is sold as separate so it's this little top and the shorts which i'll show you in a second so this is 29.99 and again in a small um, I think literally everything in this is a small apart from the, the one dress, but this is a nice little shirt which could also be worn open and it's got crochet detailing on the sleeves and the hem, which I thought was really delicate and cute. You've also got like, a little crochet collar and like I said, I'd wear this open as a little kind of, not, I guess it is a shirt, but I'd wear it as like a nice little lighter layer on top of other things. It's also nicely cropped, so it comes just to your hip, it's not too long or anything. And I like the fact it could be worn done up or undone and in various different ways. So obviously if you wore this with the shorts, I do think it would look good done up, but I do like the idea of wearing this with like a little gray or neutral um, like bra crop situation and just some little sandals. But these are the shorts, which obviously match Again, so you've got the little crochet detailing and the crochet around the hems. And they are, I think, gonna be a little bit long, but as a whole set, I think it would just be quite cute. You can't really see on the camera. I thought it was quite a nice one for like that holiday vibe where you're going out to the shops or something or you're going for lunch and you just want something nice that doesn't feel like you've just come straight out of the pool and you wanna be a little bit more dressy or alternatively again, you could wear some little wedges with it or some sandals that are kind of heeled or something and it would look really, really cute. But as I say, very into the versatile pieces which can be worn in multitude of ways, especially when it comes to holidays and summer because I like to know that my wardrobe is as small as it can possibly be. Okay not strictly as small as it could possibly be, but I like to not have too many things and I like everything to be able to be worn for multiple occasions so that I know that what's in my wardrobe is gonna get the full use and I'm really gonna get to wear the pieces that are in there. Then for shoes, I've got two pairs. One is a little bit out of my comfort zone and a color, shop horror, and the other is these, which are little braided mules, which are suede, and they're just very, very sweet and simple. So as you can see, they've got the little braided detailing on them. They're just slip-on mules. The sole is quite nice and hard wearing, which we like. I don't like when you have shoes like this and the sole is really soft and you can just slip everywhere. These were 45 pounds and they are genuine leather. So very, very comfortable. And they do have that air, what's it called? Air tech sole or something. So it's got the nice squishy sole, which is comfortable. And these are something I enjoy wearing with jeans and like little t-shirts and stuff. But also they're really nice with dresses if you're wearing something a little bit more simple and you wanna dress it up for an evening. This is the kind of shoe, to be honest, that I wear a lot throughout the summer. I get this kind of shoe out 
constantly. I am obsessed with them. So highly recommend getting your hands on a pair if you are someone who also likes this type of shoe or you're just looking for something for summer that's really simple and comfortable. And then the final item of this haul and the last pair of shoes that I've got is these ones, which as I said, very out of my comfort zone and bright green, but I really like this Bottega green color. I think it's beautiful. And I like the fact this has got like the little square toe. It's got a little heel that's got, I don't know if you can see this, but the heel's got a little like flat base. It's a bit wider and they just wrap around the ankle. And I thought they were so nice and simple, but a very big statement of an outfit. So if you wear this like all black or all white or something, they are just kind of like the statement that we all need at the bottom that looks adorable and so lovely. They do look a lot more expensive than they are as well. I think they were like, yeah, 20, 29 95 so basically 30 pounds. And they just look really expensive and really classic. And this color has been around for a while now. I don't think it's going anywhere. So thought I'd get my hands on them and see what I think. <laughs> Although I do think they're probably gonna be going back because they are quite bright for me. But we're gonna see how I style them and see what I think. But that's everything in this haul. As I said, there's another one coming soon, so make sure to check that out. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the notification bell for more from me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.